Hello, we're measuring how tall Paul's room is. Then we'll do the guest bedroom next. Say hi, Porter. Hi, Porter. I'm measuring how long this room is. Then I'll do the guest bedroom. It's 180 degrees. <laughs> Good afternoon, you guys. I feel like I haven't been vlogging very much. Nothing much has really been going on, but I thought I'd pick up the camera today. So like I said, I am measuring rooms. I'm only measuring this room, the nursery, and then our guest room because I want to switch out the ceiling fans in those it's two right rooms. There. Grayson's room, the fan is fine in our room. Maybe eventually I would switch it, but for now it's fine. This one in the nursery, it like no, makes this kid. loud noise after it's been going for a while. It's just old. And then the guest room, it looks super old. I'll show you guys um, if you're interested at all. Let me show you. Okay, this is the fan. I feel like it's maybe like original to the house. The house was built in like 89, I think somewhere around there so i think yeah it's just old looking and like it only has one light bulb and it's just it makes the room really dim it's hard to see on the camera but if you were here like you would see it i definitely want to replace that one and then i'll show you porter's his looks fine <laughs> say hi. hi porter's room fan looks fine but it's old and it sounds old and then I'll show you Grayson's because that's what I'm kind of looking style wise. I'm not really looking for fancy, just a white ceiling fan that has like multiple lights in it. So this is what Grayson has. It's like a fan, white, and it's got three um, bulbs coming out of it. I have never switched out ceiling fans before. I'm not really planning on doing that. I'm going to have Anthony help me. But I told him I would like do all the research and so I thought there was just like one fan that everybody got but apparently no. You're supposed to measure and get the square footage of the room and then depending on that square footage you know what fan to get. I had no idea that was a thing. I read an article about it. And then I was like, well, how do you even, Gray, let Porter have a turn. So they're both fighting over the tape measure. My goodness. And so I was like, well, I don't even know how to figure out, like, the square footage of a room. How do you do that? So I had to Google that. <laughs> I'm learning. But it turns out you just measure, get a tape measure and you measure how many feet long it is and how many feet wide it is. Like, you just do one wall to one wall and then crossway one wall to one wall and then that you times those numbers and then that gives you the square footage so like porter's room it's like 10 feet by 12 feet so you times that it's 120 about it's a little over square feet so i know this one i need to go next door and do the guest room i haven't done that one yet um, and then i can pick a fan the fans don't seem too expensive you want to get down i think like the cheap white ones that i've been looking at are like 60 to 70 to 80 and there's some really nice ones that you could get which are very very expensive but i don't need nice i just want better than what we have i gotta help gray he can't find the other tape measure so that's what i've been doing this afternoon porter just woke up from his nap um, I'm going to go out in the garage and get this tape measure. Gray had preschool this morning. Anthony's not here. He is in the office today, um, but he'll be back tonight. Thank goodness Anthony has a ton of tools, and so we usually have multiples of a certain tool. And we don't really let the kids play with Anthony's tools because they're tools, duh. But tape measures are pretty harmless so i think it's okay and then they won't fight over it okay there now you both have one. Oh my goodness i am out of breath i am just so pregnant speaking of pregnancy i wanted to show you guys i finally broke out my belly band so here it is with it on i don't know if you guys can see it i hopefully you guys can see it or i could like stand in a mirror maybe and show you guys but i I just, I'm so uncomfortable right now just sitting that 
I had to put something on. My belly's just getting so big. My back hurts so bad. I can't even sit for a long before I like am physically in pain. And then I've been trying to like lay on one side, lay on the other side, and that's not helping either. So here, hi, this is our bathroom. But here, I'll show you guys. I got this belly band back at my first pregnancy. I just got it off Amazon. I don't remember how much it was. It was cheap and I've used it for every pregnancy and it is great. It helps support and lift the belly and my back feels so much better. So I think I'm just gonna have to wear this from like now on, which is annoying when I have to pee because I have to like take it off, but it helps a lot. Also, while Gray's at preschool, Porter and I went to the grocery store and I've started to buy some postpartum supplies. I still need to get more, but I started with the basics and so with this being my third time, I'm pretty knowledgeable about what you need and honestly you could google like what you need a lot of it's like silly stuff though because like i googled like oh postpartum supplies and a lot of it's like oh you need a peri bottle to like use the squirt while like after you pee instead of like wiping yourself with toilet paper but they give you a free one at the hospital i still have my previous two so that's a waste of money but things that you should get if you're going to have a baby the first thing i got was a stool softener your first couple poops after you give birth are a little traumatizing and so you really ought to get one of these they they usually give you one or two stool softeners in the hospital, depending on how long you're there, but you'll want to take more. And this was like $2. This is $2. ounces. Okay, this was like $2 at the store. I just got like the brand because otherwise I don't ever use stool softeners. Um, next I got was Dermoplast. So this you spray. Um, it just, like it says, it uh, relieves pain and burning which happens after you're stretched from having a baby. And then this is one of my favorite things. These are tux pads. They're medicated cooling pads. They're exactly what they said. They have witch hazel on them and they help with hemorrhoids and also swelling because you're so swollen down there after you have a baby. And it's nice because they're the pads are very cold. And after you have a baby, it feels so good to have something cool down there. Those are some of the things I got. I still want to get um, like nipple cream and I want to get more breast milk bags. Um, I'm kind of debating on whether I want to get ice packs or not. So you use ice packs down there as well after you give birth. And honestly, it feels so good to use an ice pack. But I'm torn because on my first, it, it was obviously my first, I tore, I had to get like one or two stitches, I think. And so I wanted the ice packs a lot and I didn't get it that time. I only used like what the hospital gave me and they only give you so much. And then I ran out and then I just toughed it out. My second with uh, my second pregnancy, he came so fast. And cause he was my second, I didn't tear at all. And so it really wasn't that sensitive down there. So I really didn't need the ice packs. Of course every pregnancy is different so you're never gonna know like what how it's gonna go so i'm just not sure if i should get ice packs or not so i'm kind of de debating on that i have felt productive um i feel like i was talking to anthony about this the other night i'm totally getting into nesting mode which i feel like is early i did like i start the third trimester this week I think technically tomorrow I start it and it's like coming with a vengeance with pain and then also nesting. Like I was telling Anthony, I want to get certain projects done before the baby comes and I've already started thinking like I need to go through all of like my breastfeeding supplies because um, I have like a bunch of stuff downstairs in our crawl space just stored that I need to get out. But I'm just feeling stressed like... 
you know, with our baby, like, we don't really have that much done yet, but we already have a lot of the supplies. Like, the crib is already built. Porter's sleeping in it. We already have a changing table. We've got the bassinet. We've got the newborn bath. Like, that's all here. It's just in the basement. There's no point in bringing it up yet because we still have, like, three more months to go. And we have a little bit of clothes. My mom's been supplying me with clothes, and then I've been finding little things here and there on clearance. But, like, I need to go through what newborn clothes I have to see if I can find any, like, gender-neutral things um, that the boys used. And, yeah, I'm just feeling a little stressed. Like, I haven't done much to get ready for this baby, and it'll be okay. But I just, I'm a very stressed person by nature, so this nesting is just making me anxious. So, anyway, what did you do? I measured the bookshelf. Oh, you guys are, are you guys my little helpers? Okay, we got to go measure the guest room. So I'm going to have to borrow one of those. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'll pull out the camera um, here and there if we do anything. But it's too cold to go outside. So we're just hanging out in here and measuring rooms. That's our big adventure and... Yeah, that's kind of just kind of taking it easy as I get bigger and more tired throughout this pregnancy. One. <laughs> All right, it's Gregory's turn. Do you want a big one or a little one? Big one. You want a big one? Uh -huh. what, what number? Five. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Four your turn. I'm a ghost. <laughs> Come here, ghost. Do you want a big one or a little one? A little one. Do you want a little one? Yes. All right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> he always looks so terrified. <laughs> you want a big one or a little one? Big one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's like, okay, you slowly. Yep. I'm a ghost. Come here, ghost. You're just Do you want a big one or a little one, Porter? <laughs> Alright, three, two, one, go! 